going to be hot. Tony, how are we looking for today? Uh, it's still going to be a uh, high around 94 today, yeah. so above average. But we should be seeing this time of the year 87 to 88. Mm -hmm. So we're surpassing that now for a couple days. Yeah. Heat index close to 100. Summer lasts on, guys. Yeah. Trying to get those switch ups. Take it away. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> As we, of course, are as well, still here in the late phases of summer going into September. Hurricane season also lasts on and we are tracking Hurricane Lee. But as of right now, I want to get back on this. The early projections of this, yes, likely to become a very strong, big category for hurricane. But look at these trends. Pretty much every weather model as we go towards the early phases of next week, looking to see this pushing further towards the north. Now then, this is going to be Monday into Tuesday as far as these models are running out. So good news right now because this is, of course, going to be missing a lot of the greater and lesser Antilles and, of of course, the southeastern United States. So, of course, we will keep on Hurricane Lee's path. Keep up with those turning to the north projections, please. As we go local again into the tidbit, smugginess holds. Late storm chances do as well and rain potential. It's back, but how much of this is actually going to be around between what we could see late today getting towards the upcoming start of your weekend? Let's decipher all this for you as we go through. Also, I just want to make the point because it's been so dry. We haven't seen too much rain the past week. We've really seen pollen levels spiking, especially from ragweed and grass getting thrown up into the air. So if you are having a tough time with some allergies, that is why not as much from the trees right now. We go into the future cast here. Let's get you ready for this day as we see relatively dry things in the morning. Some clouds filter in, but then a hazy sun says I'm back for the afternoon. And then as we go on late into the day, this is where we actually see the rain chances bump back in the front that we've been talking about uh, earlier this week. It's going to be moving its way through the state as we get further into Friday, but it can still cause some initial shower and storm activity, but it's more so for our western viewing area. Newberry, Saluda, more Fairfield County, County, even to Lexington more likely as opposed to the east. So looking on getting towards even, you know, the nine to five commute times home today, dinner time for a lot of people making the run to the store. Keep eyes on the sky with your travels. OK, we see some of that even lingering on a bit later into the evening. So the middle of the Midlands not going to be out of that threat window. It's just going to be a time to just be a little bit more aware of your weather surroundings. I wouldn't be surprised a couple strong storms do flare up from this before they putter out overnight. So, OK, late overnight we come down tomorrow morning still dry, but then as we go for into Friday afternoon, the front that we've been talking about is going to be stalling out into South Carolina. And as that happens, we're still going to be seeing a little bit more in the way of moisture hanging around enough convective potential to flare up some showers and storms, but in a spotty capacity. Now, if you're more so to, you know, areas closer to the upstate, our western viewing area. Now, at this point, you're a bit drier. However, Saturday looks to be the sweet spot as we work to get a little bit more of that moisture and some filled in rain potential. So that's going to likely be for the afternoon. It's still not the most aggressive day in terms of the rain, but it's going to be the most likely day for what we can see with showers and some downpours, a few storms embedded in there. So be mindful of that. OK, quick check for today. If you're going to be hitting up the grocery store earlier today, the time to do it, you know, as it's staying a little bit cooler, of course, and we are working to stay away from any storm threats. Those will come later into the afternoon, very late and into the evening. If they'll happen, they're still going to be spotty. So we see that, of course, if you got to make that run out for today. Otherwise, let's try to make this day a good one. My friends, we see the upper 60s for tonight as those storms are possible and then work to see the isolated potential for Friday afternoon a bit better into Saturday afternoon. But the added benefit with that and, of course, more cloud cover Trying to hang around into the weekend will be those high temperatures taking a step back to the mid 80s.